And back comes Hosa. Up to the left wing, Raczynski hold, didn't shoot it. Now flips, nice pass to Ruchin. Shot in and scores! And the Rangers go up 3-0, Steve Ruchin! All the way up the ice, Mike. A couple of real nice passes by the Rangers. And then when they got into the zone, they just went to the net. Real nice passes. The first pass across, the second pass by Hosa, and then a, 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 a shot by Ruchin that was blocked, and then he got his own rebound. But the pass is out of the Rangers' zone, from their own zone to Hosa, from Hosa up to Ruchinski, back to Ruchin. It's just all the way up the ice. Good, concise passing, and then the second effort shot by Ruchin goes in. Now how often does that happen? You get a rebound come 20 feet back to you, and you so get a... Rather, Fedorov taken off this line. That's because of defensive uh, liabilities. Fedorov learning the defensive game. And put in front, score! Steve Ruchin! Ortmeyer with a beautiful feed. And Ruchin, with his second goal of the season, gives the Rangers a 4-2 lead. First NHL goal scored against Danny, the goaltender. It took almost five periods against him to get one. Ruchinski with some great work behind the net, Sam. He sets up Ortmeyer, who moves it. Look, look at the work by him. He drew two people to him. And then you see Ruchin get on the inside of his defender, and Ortmeyer with a great play. Ortmeyer, Ruchinski and Ortmeyer make great plays. Ruchin's already on the inside of his checker. Great pass by Ortmeyer. That's a great play by those three forwards, and man, did the Rangers need that. And the With Pody and Tootin, this is Niemann. Who played a little over one season with Pittsburgh. That one's deflected in! The shot from the point by Pody. And the deflection in front, it's a power play goal, and the Rangers lead 4-1. to one. It might have been Ruchin, it might have been Neiman, and Pony's played a very strong game here. That wrist shot was deflected, I think, by Ruchin. Number 20 in front, a wrist shot. Puck shot, there. Yes. Deflected oh, by yes. Ruchin. You know, it was a nice wrist shot, not hard, so the players have a good chance to get their stick blade on it. On the left side. There's a little deflection over past the arm by Ruchin. Rangers have a power play goal. And I think if you look at this, the 19th game of the season for the Rangers, it's Pody's best game. Yes. Well, going back to Carolina. He played start several right. years yeah. and went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Fans wanted a penalty. Rangers a takeaway. Score! Steve Ruchin with his second of the game. Once again, Rangers aggressive on the forecheck. Takeaway leads to a scoring chance. Ruchin cashes in. It's 5-1. Well, you're going to see the turnover from behind on Gonchar, who was the first person to get to the bench. Shoved down from behind by Hosa, and a nice pass back, and then the big shot top corner. The Rangers had to hit the net on the play and did. This is Hosa. He's moving in. Here comes a shot top corner. Rangers have a 5-1 lead. That'll put this one away, I would think. You never know. 9-13 to go. But the way they're working and trying to be intelligent, you know, as soon as Gonchar got knocked off the puck, the puck went in. He was a... Martin Erat spinning, double team. Good job by Yager. Ruchin, nice pass. Here's Moore knocked away by a sliding Dan Hamhoes. Yager puts it in front. Score! Steve Ruchin! On the fade from Yaramir Yager, and it's 3-0 Rangers. Well, that's a big goal for the Rangers. Nashville had to make a goalie change, and the Rangers find a way to forward. That's the best forechecking shift they've had in the game, and here we are early in the second period. Ruchin with a nice pass, and Moore lost control, but Yager took over. Look at Ruchin in front, and before he was picked up, Yager had already read the play. So Yager has made a couple of just wonderful plays for the goal. And then I thought maybe could have had an assist on the second goal. And then definitely gets a primary assist here. As you see him read the play, find the loose pocket. He already knows Ruchin's there. How about that pass on the backhand? Pinpoint pass on the backhand by Yager. First on the second, no score in the game. Ruka tried to fire it in and bounce back out. Ruchinski winds, fires, off the glove of Brodeur. Diving play in front, score! Steve Ruchin off a tremendous play by Peter Pruka. It's 1-0. What an effort by Pruka. Sam, that was an effort by Pruka, but it was even more of an effort before that. He was a guy on a four check. He was a guy on a back check. And then he moves in here and keeps it alive as the puck got away from Brodeur's catching glove. He kept it alive. What a play. Ruchin gets his eighth. Ruchinski will get a, a, a assist on the play as well. Pruka. What an effort by the kid. Oh, my. Now watch Pruka here. That was on the back check. 
And then the puck did bounce over to Ruchinski. Look when he went, he was in the right spot. He was all over the place, that whole shift. What an even, effort. Even before that, he was on the four check. Back down Sakura. Out of the corner, Nylander gives it to Sakura in front. Score! Steve Ruchin! Set up by Peter Sakura. Rangers lead one to nothing. Boy, all three forwards in on the play when the puck was put deep. Nylander there with a beautiful little move. And now you see Rutan in front get away from Smith. It wasn't a clean shot, but it went off the goalpost. It was accurate. And Sakura's going to get his third point as a Ranger. In this, the fourth period, he's played as a Ranger. That was after the power play had expired. The right side just off the post. Rutan from Sakara and Nylander. Ruchin set up nicely. Ward, and they get it out of the zone. That was all Jason Ward. Made a good play on Recky. Crosby, intercepted by Ruchin. Ruchin on a breakaway. Ruchin on Flurry. Ruchin scores! A shorthanded goal for Steve Ruchin. And the Rangers lead one to nothing. Second shorthanded goal of the season for the Rangers. What a play. Jason Ward has the other one. Recky's on the puck, they gain the zone, and then Crosby turns it over as he's pressured. Turnover right along the blue line. Recky had been out a long time. He had no gas left in his tank. Couldn't catch Rutschen, who just took off. And man, did he take off. And then what a move on Flurry to score the goal. Fantastic move to go around him. And it's one nothing Rangers. Rutschen, he had speed going. He's had a nagging leg injury all season. But he and a good play by Ruchin to work it ahead. Now Sakura to Puka. Out to Pony. Looking. In front score! Steve Ruchin with a deflection. It's a power play goal. And it's 2 nothing Rangers. Sam, the work inside the blue line by Pruka and Ruchin right over in there. Three Islanders, two Rangers. The Rangers walk out with a puck. And then as Pony gets the puck here, he doesn't shoot it. But you're going to see him make a beautiful pass there for the deflection goal. And the deflection goes off the goal post. Perfect deflection is Ruchin, who's had another outstanding beginning to this game. Two in a row for him. Gets a power play goal. Ruchin sticks down. Great read by Pony to hit him with the pass. And the Rangers lead to zip and deserve it. Try to get it through to Sikora. It was blocked. Ruchinski has it again. Now it's Polk with a shot, block, rebound, score! Steve Ruchin puts the Rangers on the board. It's a two-to-one game. That's what the Rangers needed. Fans into it. 16-32 remaining in the third period. Ruchin helped win the, the battle along the boards with the help from Ruchinski. And the shot by Polk actually went off of Ruchin. And then he got to it. Rucci came out of the corner, went to the net. And he finds a way to slide it underneath Gerber before Gerber could get settled and up and over. Big goal for the Rangers. They're back in this thing, trailing 2-1. Rucci's 12th goal of the season. Thomas Polk gets his first point this season. In his third game of the season and in his ninth career NHL game, Thomas Polk has three the career. Orange Tootin is there. Ruchin got it to Sakura. Now Straka out of the corner, right through the crease. Those lift in front. They score! Oh. Steve Ruchin. It's a power play goal. Beautiful setup from Ozilinch to Ruchin. I think all of the setups were nice. Straka here saw the opening and he moved the puck. Then everybody thought that Ozilinch was going to shoot from the bad angle. Straka's pass is brilliant, and the Ozilinch pass is even better. And it's a tap-in. Only Kolzik had to really move from his left to his right to get over there and hope that there's a shot coming. Already on his knees, he was in trouble as the pass is made to Ruchin by Ozilinch. It's a 1-0 Rangers lead on the power play. Ozilinch playing his 800th game gets the assist, primary assist. Straka again. Marty Straka with one of the best efforts that the Rangers have gotten offensively in this game in the third period, but... After going by two devil defenders, Brodor was able to stop it. Now here's Tootin. Wrist shot, score!
with 127 to go. The deficit is two. It's a power play goal. It's a wrist shot by Feder Tutin that I believe Steve Ruchin deflected. And again, it, it shows their fans and as Pierre said, young players, that they're not going to just say goodbye. As Ruchin gets himself in front, you see Feder Tutin use the wrist shot. And it took a deflection goal to beat Marty Brodeur. It's a power play goal. It's now 4-2 with a minute 27 to go in this third period. Feder Tutin, smart play. Just a wrist shot. There's the deflection. And Lundqvist is now back in the Rangers net. Again, 127 to go here in regulation. Just break it up. It's Sikora waiting. Gives to Straka. Straka across the blue line. Fires it back down behind the net. Puka there. Leaves for Sikora. Sikora trying to center. Went in! Oh! Peter Sakara! Oh, what a break for the Rangers! They tie it at two! When the puck got deep, the Rangers had Bruka and Sakara behind the net. And Sakara just threw the puck towards the net and deflected up high and over behind the goaltender. Straka throws it deep. Sakora lets it go. Bruka gives it back to him. Took the hit in doing so. And there it deflected off the defender. That's Fanuf. He's Fanuf's all over everything. In this he's game. everywhere. He's, he's taking penalties. He's hitting people. He's scoring <laughs> goals. He's deflecting a puck into his own net. He just scored another yeah. one and from we're the tied, goal line. And we're tied to two. Bruka took a hard hit. A real hard hit to move the puck to Straka. And he scores a goal from behind the goal line. We're tied at two. Ruchin with a takeaway, but it's... Fired around by Smith, taken back by Pruka. Shot! Say, score! Sakura on the rebound! And the game is tied 3 3. Goal number nine for Sakura, as he got quick hands. Ruchin started the whole play, he was active. There's the play at the blue line. That shot was blocked, and the rebound went right to Sakura. Everybody's surrounded. You're going to see the shot there by Bruka. Everybody surrounded Ruchin in front, and the puck went right over to Sakura and bang in the net. And out of nowhere, the Rangers have scored a power play goal and an even strength goal. We're tied at three with a minute 20 left in the second period. What a turn of events. Well, out here, in here, and he still has the puck. Lead to Marco Sturm, intercepted by Nylander again. Neiman in deep save by Tommy. Rebound score. Peter Sakura. It's deja vu. It's deja vu all over. <laughs> you know, Michael Nylander and the Bruins again head up ice on a little bit of a transition thing. And what what happens is the Rangers are able to stay in behind. You know, the puck gets turned over. Nothing good ever happens when you throw the puck to that end of the ice coming out of your own end. So the Bruins, just inside the blue line, throw it to the bad area of the ice. Nylander, Niemann, Sakura. Sakura will finish it off. But once again, this time off the forehand, Niemann, and, I think Niemann was surprised that he got it so quickly. Sakura jumped right on top of it. But again, the Bruins turn it over in a bad area of the ice. Michael Nylander makes him pay again. And a quick Ruchin behind the net. Now Yager. Sakura's in front. Here's Ruchinski. The Pony for the shot. Save Flurry. Rebound missed. Scramble on score. Peter Sakura. It's a power play goal. And the Rangers lead three to one. Too many penalties by the Penguins have hurt them. The Rangers finally take advantage. It's Full a, advantage. It's a real good shot right here by Pody. Low and on net. Real good shot. Flurry was there. People went down, but Sakura stayed up high. See Sakura on the left side. He's going to circle and stay up high with Ruchin down low, and the puck does come to him twice. Oh, Ruchin will get an assist. He he knocked the puck back to Sakura with a real nice little pass. Tricky little pass, and Sakura on his second shot able to finish. The Rangers have a 3 1 lead. And they win the faceoff. Good win by Ruchin. Straka across to Ruchinski. Wines, drives it, score! A deflection in front. The Rangers have tied it at three. Wow, you talk about a faceoff win. Steve Ruchin got beat in the third period, and the Flyers scored. Ruchin does a tremendous job tying up Richards, and then watch him kick it back. Right there, with his left foot. He kicks it back, and the puck's going to come to the point 
and Ruchinski's going to fire it. And honest to goodness, Sam, I'm not sure who touched it. It might be Nylander, it might be Sakura. But the whole thing is right there with the left foot of Steve Ruchin. A blast from Ruchinski, puck rolling a little bit, and I'm not sure. That puck, again, will Great come play back. by Ruchin. The puck is going to flip up as he shoots it, and it knuckles itself down. I'm not sure that it didn't hit Hatcher. The play is under review. And now they say the play is being reviewed, which prompts a roar from the crowd, but I don't know that. Uh, now there's no there's crease anything. issue. I know yeah. Sakura. Where is Sakura? Watch Sakura as he's down uh, on the I bench. Don't... And he's. I'm not sure what the uh, issue is. 41.1 seconds remaining in regulation time. And the Rangers believe that they have tied this game. Let's see when it's official. And it's a goal. It is a goal. And you know what I would think would help, even to the people in the building, if there was a way that it could be communicated what was under review. Yeah. Uh, you know, because, I mean, and again. Gets it to Pody. Back to Yager. Straka for Sakura And Hasek made a save. Sakura again. Bakes it in. Peter Sakura bakes it in off Dominic Hasek. And it's 5-1 Rangers. They're doing everything uh, right. December 26th, Ottawa beat the Rangers 6-2. They embarrassed the Rangers. The Rangers were, that was maybe their worst game of the season. Yeah. Well, it's the other way around here. Rangers are up 5-1 with 6.09 to go. This is a, a lucky play, but you know what? The point of the play was Sakura winning a battle. He, he, he got to the puck. He got away from his check. Look at that. He's got Chara. He gets away from Chara. Yes, it caroms in off somebody's skate, but still, it's Sakura winning the puck. Ten, five, six, seven seconds before this, it was Ottawa losing the puck at the Rangers' blue line. The Rangers are doing everything right in all three zones, and they have total control of this game. Great pass ball. across, missed. Ruchin back to Sakura. Out to Yager. Now Sakura. He shoots, he scores! Peter Sakura! It's a power play goal! Rangers lead 4-2! What a shot. You know, you're going to see Belfort move across, and he takes his catching glove, and he puts it up top for just a second. It's going to come back to the near side. Now, look at his catching glove. He puts it. He's going to put it up, and then when he drops it down, here it comes. Glove up, down, top corner. Great shot by Sakura. Belfort didn't know if there's going to be a pass, a shot, or what. And that's what I meant, Sam. If two players are up high towards Yager, that means there's open people down below. And the Rangers took advantage of it. In the net, look. Belfort is leaning to his right. And right over the left shoulder goes the puck. Still a power play for another 35 seconds. Lucian reaching for the puck. ruchinski has got it. Turns, try to feed Sikora, was blocked. Gets it to Sikora. He scores! What a shot. How about that? The Leafs were dominating the first five minutes of the period. Sakura set up for the goal. Uh, the goaltending of Kevin Weeks early here in the second period. The puck gets turned over. Sundin forces it. There's a save off of Ponikarovsky. Fantastic with the left arm of Kevin Weeks. Now Sakura will get himself into position. Backs up high. And here comes the pass. Top corner. What a rocket by Sakura. 2-0 Rangers. Sakura had a shot moments prior that was blocked by the defenseman. And Ruchinski here makes the gorgeous pass. Top corner shot over the glove hand. 2-0 Rangers. And one goaltender has been real hot. What a shot that was by Sakura. And as I mentioned last night, John. Out to Pody. Down low. Saved by Gerber. Scramble on. Puck still loose. Gerber thinks he's got and it. Sakura scores! And Gerber thought he had it underneath his catching glove. He never had it. The scramble wow. was on. The Rangers never stopped. Sakura found the puck. It's a one-goal game one. with 1.47 to go. Exactly, 1.47 to go. And give the referee credit for keeping his eye on the puck and not blowing the whistle. Gerber has the shot there stopped by his shoulder. Now he thinks he's got the puck. He doesn't have it. He thinks he's got it under his glove. It's not even close. Look at the referee. And there's a shot flipped in as all the Rangers, at least four of them of the five, went right to the net. He thinks it's under his catching glove. And there's Sakura, who scores. Wow, 1.47 to go. It's a 4-3 game. Gerber really thought the puck 
was underneath his catching glove right there. He thinks it's under his glove. Boom. The referee was in perfect position. Perfect position to make sure he didn't blow the whistle. And he First finds Yager. Yager on the backhand. Now turns. Here's Straka back to Yager. Yager looking toward the net. Moves in. And he shoots and scores! Wow. Yaramir Yager! It's a power play goal! I'm wondering if it went off of Sakura's stick. Sakura came out from the far side of the ice, drove right through the slot, and put his stick down as a target. And when he put his stick down as a target, Yager hit it right there. Sakura skated out, Sam, and he found open ice, and he put his, see his blade there? See how he's got yeah. his blade down? There it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yager, that was a pass by Yager, a firm, hard pass. Sakura found the open ice. That's a goal scorer's goal. And a goal scoring, playmaking pass by Yager. Gorgeous. And sliding through the slot, now setting up along the half boards. Yager looking. Oslin sneaking in, gets the pass. Takes it back, feeds Yager. Nylander's in front. Pass to Sakura. He scores! Peter Sakura! It's a power play goal! And it's 2 nothing Rangers! And put an assist to Yaramir Yager, now number one among right wings in any in Rangers history. Now the Rangers controlled the puck. Ozil Lynch was in and out. Five players on the ice for the Rangers, every one of them left-handed shots. And I think what happened here was it's a, a quick backhander. And Telquist, I think, thought there was a pass because he well, went way over. Lifts it up and out of the zone. Nylander gets it across to Sakura to the empty net. It's over. With 36.2 to go, Peter Sakura is second of the game. It's 5 to 2. What a play by Roosevelt. Way back in the Rangers zone, deep in the zone. Lundquist to Roosevelt. He doesn't fire the puck, he gives it to Malik who has to elevate it out of the zone. Now you'll see the pay, the play as it's finished by Sakura on the nice pass by Nylander. It rose the ball, made the play, kept it alive. He and Malik, the defense pair for the Rangers, the go-to guys. And the Rangers will win this one, 36.2 to go. They're up 5-2. On the period, Yager across to Oselinch. Ruchinski to Oselinch and back. Oselinch. 15 seconds in the period. Sikora to Ozilinch. Sikora with a shot. Score! Peter Sikora. It's a power play goal. And the Rangers tie it with 10.7 seconds left in the second period. Great shot from inside the blue line. And Luongo had it. Sneak on by, Campbell scored the go-ahead goal and he took the offensive zone penalty and he sat there and watched his team give up one here. This is Sakura on the puck, a little give and go with Ozilinch and there's the shot. Now did it hit and go off of Kwiatkowski number 20 or does it hit Kruka? I'm not 100% sure, I, I think it may have hit somebody though Sam, here comes the shot. It may have gone off the defenseman Kwiatkowski who put a stick down on the ice right there, yeah it did. Tipped off of his stick, it'll be a Sakura goal as the period winds down. The Rangers. Graham. Oslinch again. Now Sakura moves in down low. Straka centers. Score! Steve Ruchin! Or was it Sakura? Sakura put it in. It's a power play goal. And the Rangers grab a 1 0 lead. Sakura, goal number 21. He had a beautiful goal last night in the shootout. Del low. Here comes the shot. Ruchin, or Sakura gets his own rebound with Ruchin standing in front. His hands, Sam, are so quick. If he ever gets the puck in open ice, give and go right here with Straka. One, two, bang. His hands are so quick to elevate the, the puck to the roof. It's remarkable. Give and go. Beautiful give and go with Marty Straka. Set the target. Get the puck shot. Rebound, boom. Oh, that man, does he have quick hands. That's why I called Ruchin, because I couldn't believe ah, Sakura ah, got ah. the second shot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was quick hands. Oh, really? Nice goal. Sakura to Yager, 50 seconds in the power play. Greer with a good effort. Yager with a good effort to get it back. Sakura to Nylander. Yager to Sakura. He scores! Peter 
Sikora. It's a power play goal. And the Rangers are back within one. It's four to three. Sam, it's the quickness of the pass work, and Yager now trails Jean Rattel by only one point for the all-time single-season scoring record, point record for the Rangers. Nylander to Yager to Sikora. How about the pass by Yager? Bang, bang. Nylander pulls his man, keeps him to the backside, and then Yager makes the play, and those magnificent hands of Sikora go to work. I never knew, in watching him play over the years, that his hands were that good. And the more we've watched him as a Ranger, backhand, forehand, he has magically quick hands. And how about the pass by Yager? Oh, brilliant. There's a chance for Sikora. He scores. There's that wrist shot by Peter Sikora, which he gets off so quickly, and he rifled it past Marc-Andre Fleury. And now, 402 into the third. The Rangers answer back. Uh, Rangers first shot of the period and it was all Ward transporting the puck and there's a shot through the screen that went also right through the body of the goaltender Flurry. There was a turnover right in there and then Ward just took the puck and he just started to go. And when he started to go he was able to find Sikora who's got a great shot for a player that's not a big player. He has a great wrist shot and the Rangers are able to score and I believe that was the first shot of the period.